Hey there pilots and Warbird fans. Welcome to your What's in the Box review. Today, this review is going to be just a ton of fun. This is one of my favorite airplanes and favorite Warbirds of all times. And this is a, a real treat to bring to you this What's in the Box review because I haven't opened this box at all yet. This is the FMS Blitz RC Works P51 Mustang. And this is in the 1400 millimeter category. Uh, if you haven't seen the flight for the Blue PD the version, uh, uh, I urge you to check that out. It's up on our YouTube channel. This, uh, this FMS Blitz RC Works P51, we have a lot of things to talk about. What this is, is the version 7. I know you're thinking, wow, you know, that's a lot of versions. And when I, when I actually was, was uh, talking about this airplane and, uh, and going through the phases of which uh, developments have progressed with this particular Warbird, we are actually at version 7. And this is this, there's just so many cool things about this airplane that uh, we need to talk about here. First of all, this is the 1400 millimeter category. And what we've done is basically brought down the 1700 millimeter size. Uh, the, all the things that went into the 1700 millimeter size P51 Mustang, and we scale it down to this 1400 millimeter size, which means the uh, retracts have uh, sequencing gear doors now. They're metal, they're more scale. Uh, just the, app, the scale appearance is completely different now. I'm gonna read you a little bit of what the box says here. Uh, basically, there's 17 gram servos now for the aileron and rudder, and the 9G uh, servo for the flaps are digital. And uh, they're slow servos too, so the flaps actually come down very, very slow in scale. Uh, retractable sequencing gear doors, like I said. New, new style of flaps, the new scale pilot, uh, it says new stronger hinging, new stronger, more durable wing construction with uh, easier assembly, uh, new fuselage construction, new motor construction, upgraded shock absorption, absorption system with larger wheels. So that's always cool. Stronger propeller, five new paint schemes. Okay, there's five different colors out now. Uh, today we're working on the, the review here is going to be on the, the, uh, the gunfighter version, which is one of my favorite versions. Let's see here. New stronger foam box to avoid any shipping damage. Cool. New and very detailed manual for easy assembly. And uh, that's pretty much it. And something really cool about this, what FMS and Blitz RC Works are doing, it's kind of cool. Right here it says 70% of the customers will get a surprise inside the box. Are you the lucky one? Open the box and find out. What they are doing is uh, in the various boxes, they're putting a little... Uh, a bonus in there. You know, it could be an extra servo, it could be uh, speed control, it could be another motor, it could be a battery. It's just something that's a little bit of a surprise. It's not in every single box, but it's in, uh, it's a 70% of the customers will have a, will get a surprise. So when you open it, there might be something in there that's just a little bit of a bonus for you. Cool. So let's go ahead and just start taking things out of the box here. I'm actually going to do a build review for this airplane today as well. Uh, however, we're going to put that on a separate video. This is just strictly what's in the box, old school Pete what's in the box review. Okay, let's go ahead and open this puppy up here and see what, what we can find here. Okay, uh, pretty cool. There's a quality control card there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just slide it. This box is beautiful. It's going to slide. This box comes out this way. Okay. There we go. This is uh, going to be a fun review here. Awful big box. <laughs> Let me get that off the counter table here. Cool. I love that that FMS always gives you a, I, I call it a top board. So this always is uh, on top of here and uh, it just keeps it from damage. So that's really cool there. Okay, let me go ahead and cut the top off here. Cool. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. Wow, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. First thing that comes out is the detailed manual. Okay, and then back here we have some more decals. They look like water decals. They're just, uh, you know, extremely scale decals. That, you know, these are the little things that says, like, like caution lift, you know, gas and all that stuff. So we're going to have to have some fun there later on and uh, 
apply some decals. Cool. All right, so let's start taking things out of the box and let's see here. Hey, look, you get a free gift. And what did I get this time? You, we got an extra set of propellers. So this is what they were talking about. The, they will uh, give you some kind of a free gift and there's 70% of the customers receive it. Hey, who can't use an extra set of propellers? We all could use an extra set. Perfect. All right, let's just start taking things out of the box here. Sweet. Okay. Again, this is EPO foam construction. So durability is right up there. Okay, let's get the main wing out here. Lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. I love it. These, uh, the retracts are already pre-installed here, so everything's ready to go. Decals pre-installed. Really nice here. And uh, we got uh, nav lights too on the wingtips. Cool. Let's go ahead and set one wing down. Okay. Everything's packed so nicely in here. Okay, here we have the horizontal stabilizer. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Cool. Again, this build uh, basically goes together without any without any glue. Um, very well. I mean, there's there is glue in there, but it's just for like the engine uh, covers and stuff like that. So really nice. I like that color. It's all pre-painted. Everything's ready to go here. Okay. I'm going to get this out of the way first. We have the center wing spar. Put that there. Get the other wing. My favorite part's just about coming up here. I want to get that fuselage out and show you how scale and pretty this, uh, this beautiful P-51 is. Cool. Um, here's a good thing that I forgot, I failed to mention, I'm going to talk to you about right now. This slot right here are for the drop tanks. So the drop tanks actually just slide into place now, which I'll just show you real quick. And which is great because, you, you know, a lot of us like the way it looks, but we like the performance without the drop tanks. So you can actually have it look good and then, you know, fly it with the drop tanks or without. It just slides into place just like that. And then you're ready to go here. And if you don't want to use the drop tanks, go ahead and just pop them right off. Isn't that cool? This is engineering at the best, I would say. They thought it out, so it's a good thing. Awesome. Okay, let's get the... Fuselage, woohoo, look at that. If I can get it out of the box. Here we go, got it, sweet. Oh my goodness, look at that. What a beautiful P-51. This is one of my favorite colors, the gunfighter. Wow, that is just really nice, I love it. Uh, everything's the decals are pre-applied already. We just have some other, you know, like the smaller decals that that will be your choice if you want to actually apply them or not at a later time. Cool, beautiful. This thing's ready to go here. Let's go ahead and set that down. And we have the vertical stabilizer. Perfect. Wow, it looks nice. This paint is really, really nice. FMS did a great job on this. I can't wait to get the build going here. Okay, here we have another wing spar, it looks like. This will be for the uh, main wing for strength. Okay, we have this bag has the, the wing root fairing back there that we will glue on later on. And this bag has all your screws, your brackets, your Y harnesses, and the sequencer for the gear doors for channel five for your uh, retractable gears here. This is the fun part too here. Something about a spinner, a sp the spinner on a warbird that just makes the airplane tie together like all so much better. I, I don't know what it is, but I just have a thing. It's, it's so, I have a thing for spinners. Look at that beautiful spinner. P-51 are iconic warbirds. and you, you can almost like look at it, a spinner and know that that spinner is for P-51. Uh, Look at that, just a beautiful job there. Okay, let's talk more about that stuff when we uh, get the build going here. Okay, we have the mock exhausts here that we will be gluing on for the main fuselage. This is going to be the supplied rubber contact cement that we will use during the build portion where we start uh, 
gluing these uh, aesthetics on there, like the guns and cannons and thing, things like that. Okay, and this bag has your propellers. So there's four included, and then one is a replacement here. And they're individual blades, which, again, I like this a lot, because if you nick a propeller or something like that, you can actually uh, just replace one blade. You don't have to replace the whole thing here. Um, and then, you know, we got an extra set of propellers in here. That was our free gift. That's pretty cool. Though. Let's go ahead and set that aside. All right. I'll talk a little bit more about the propellers later on during the, the build here. So we are pretty much emptied the contents of this beautiful P-51 here. Again, this is the P-51 Mustang. This is by FMS Blitz RC Works. My name is Pete. Thank you all for joining me for today's What's in the Box review. Please join me for the build review. And then, of course, we're going to bring you a beautiful flight review of this beautiful Warbird here. Uh, like us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, and subscribe on YouTube. If you got any questions for me, go ahead and leave it in the comment box right below. We'll see you later.